Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Nimra Qureshi. I ha- I'm a graduate of CMH Lahore and I've done my master's from healthcare uh, from LUMS in healthcare management and innovation. Uh, right now I also work as a health consultant for Contec International as well as my favorite part of the day that uh, where I am a founder of C Vitals and that's where I spend most of the day. Uh, the problem that we are tackling is that Pakistan basically suffers from a lack of adequate healthcare resources, especially human resource in terms of doctors and nurses, with a huge load of patients and a limited numbers of hours that are given to these patients. So what we are trying to do is uh, we're trying to um, build, um, uh, create access and quality healthcare services. Uh, in which we have deduced that there's a lot of inefficiencies, such as inefficient data recording, human errors while charting, uh, very costly equipment, hospital acquired infections due to loaded paperwork, no formal platform for viewing previous patient data, no alert system. So uh, this is the problem that we are trying to tackle. What Vitals is doing is that we have come up with a remote patient monitoring system that measures vitals continuously while generating health analytics and data trends uh, using AI with a warning system, all of this while being contactless. So nothing is connected to the patient. Uh, It's just a palm-sized device that can be connected to any regular bed or any bed in the hospital. And all the health data, health uh, data analytics, data trends are going to be generated on to the phones of the healthcare workers, as well as the uh, screens that have already been set up in the hospitals. Uh, This basically gives an early warning intervention, as well as all the vitals are being continuously managed and remotely monitored, and it can be remotely monitored from anywhere. So this leads to a maximized ICU throughput times, improved clinical outcomes, improved patient safety, and lesser number of uh, preventable deaths. So yes, yes, we are ready with a prototype, alhamdulillah. So what it does is basically uh, 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 this device is connected to the bed. Um, When it is connected to the bed, it picks up the mechanical vibrations and the electrical vibrations from the heart. Uh, It transfers all of those signals into uh, parameters that can be measured, such as uh, heart rate, respiratory rate, heart rate variability, stroke volume. Um, These are all the different parameters that we are measuring. And then we use AI to detect more parameters out of it. All of this is then transferred into the cloud, uh, to the cloud server. All of that, uh, our device pushes it to the server and that put, that information is being pushed onto the mobile devices that can be viewed in terms of uh, manual reading of the data that basically everybody does. But it's again, there, everything is digit, digitized. And um, you can also see the ECG of the patient and it is all in continuous uh, monitoring phase. So there is no lag, there's no uh, spot checks continuously just as the patient ka data hota hai. Um, as the heart keeps beating, it, it is viewed onto the screens. So uh, as far as we have gotten, we have uh, uh, developed the prototype uh, very recently and we have started our testing in uh, control settings. We are already in talks with hospitals where we are going to be running our device side by side with the traditional monitoring systems. Um, so we already are in talks with IDAP, we are talks. Uh, we are in talks with services, Jana, uh, where we are going to run our clinical trials because this needs uh, a clinical trial before we can move forward. Again, um, uh, yeah, so we are on that stage where we are uh, signing LOIs right now. We are in talks with all of these hospitals and with these authorities, number one. Number two, when we talk about testing it in, uh, since I'm a doctor, my co-founder is a doctor, we know how to traditionally measure the vitals ourselves as well. And we have the devices, uh, the traditional monitors as well. So when we have tested this in a very... Um, in a in a, a controlled environment, uh, we are uh, very very alhamdulillah till now we are seeing uh, a very accurate results. Uh, so it's plus minus five on very rare days. Otherwise, we are seeing exactly.